Hallelujah. 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 Somebody give oh God the praise. Amen. I know it's supposed to start at 1230, and I ain't going to promise you I was trying to get a habit of 1230. Amen. But thank God you're here on this morning and say this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we are so amazed of what you do in our life. We're so amazed how you are taking an impossible situation and turn around and make it good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But there's nothing that you cannot do. Lord God, I thank you today. Hallelujah. That you are full in control of this service today. As I decrease, you will increase. Let wisdom come forth so strong. Amen. Amen. In my mouth. Amen. As you speak to me, let knowledge and understanding come forth in the name of Jesus. Let accuracy, integrity come forth in the name of Jesus. Let revelation come forth in the name of Jesus. You know what the people need to hear, Lord God. You know what they're going through, and you know how to set them free. Hallelujah. So I totally depend on the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And I ask the Holy Spirit to have his way in the name of Jesus. Let your glory, Father, bring down your glory here today. God, show your glory in this service today. Move like never before. You said your word, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, or even into the hearts of man, what God has prepared for us. And Amen. I know, God, that you can really prepare things for these people. Hallelujah. There's so many people that have been through so many things. They don't need to be put down. They don't need to be told off. They need to be built up in hope. Hallelujah. Amen. There is hope. Hallelujah. Hope me expecting not uh, 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 expecting that without seeing that God has not for God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And today as I talk about being led by the Spirit, they will understand more that their hope will be built up and they will trust you more. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you know how to bring the fire in their life where it's cold and turn around and make it hot. Where it's lukewarm and get rid of for they can be on fire again. So many people are walking in fear. So many people are scared, Lord God, but you're able to turn them around. Hallelujah. They need you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Father God. The people need you. Hallelujah. There's Hallelujah. so many people People that down and out, depressed, hallelujah. But God, you're able to unpress them, hallelujah. Hallelujah. you trying to depress them, hallelujah. I never put it that way, unpress them, hallelujah. But you'll be, they, they can be, they won't be as pressed at all, hallelujah. Stress out, hallelujah. And I thank you, God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. A fresh fire of the Holy Ghost. A fresh fire of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. A freshness of the Spirit of God, of the Shekinah glory, hallelujah, that he will have his way, not my will, but his will be done, hallelujah, we bind every force of darkness, the principal, the rulers of darkness, and a high places that would try to intercept or interfere, what God has today, hallelujah, hallelujah. what God has to say to me today, hallelujah, I send everything that was sent against us right back to the sender, I shut the mouth of the uh, Jezebel and, and loose the heavenly hounds on her, Amen. in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, Amen. I bind the spirit of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Amen. I bind the spirit of sickness, disease, infirmity in the name of Jesus. I bind that lying, deceitful spirit. I cast out all assignment of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That trying to come against anybody and their family in the name of Jesus. Trying to depress them in the name of Jesus. Trying to stress them out in the name of Jesus. Trying to bring premature death. I bind it right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever they attack, the enemy attacking right now, I commend it to the Blood of Jesus Christ, loose your assignment against them right now. And their marriage, their children, their family, their business, their ministry, their job, everything they relate to, them, even their animals, in the name of Jesus. Loose your assignment right now on their marriage to be in the name of Jesus. And all their family right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood of Jesus right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. On this service today, I plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every negative word that was spoken, every mouth that was spoken should be spoken. I send it back to the enemy right now. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of confusion trying to bring illusion against the people right now. I bind it right now. In the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus right now. I plead the blood of Jesus over yes. the White House. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I live for the president right now. In the name of Jesus. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon.
up in that form and get some shit prosper. In the name of Jesus, everything that was 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 crooked that come against him will be exposed. In the name of Jesus, January 6th, every rigged thing will be exposed. Every treason will be exposed. In the name of Jesus, I believe the victory is already won. That four more years for him right now in Jesus' name. It ain't no false prophet. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I'm speaking through the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For there's nothing impossible to do. God don't move when we want to. He moved at the midnight hour. He Amen. In five minutes to ten minutes. Amen. Amen. And I believe Amen. that God's gonna turn this around. I believe already that it's already done. Victory is ours in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God's not gonna put no wish, no wall out, no soothsayer, no devil in the house. Hallelujah. We live in the days of saints of God. Don't you give up. Don't listen to the devil. You listen to what God says. I plead the blood of Jesus on the, the election in Georgia. Hallelujah. I plead the blood of Jesus over Israel. In the name of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus in Africa. In the name of yes. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I plead the blood of Jesus on uh, um, Oh, uh, Iran that trying to call something that I, I remember in Zika 38 they tried to see God said make your shot and see what he going to do to him. Hallelujah. Every evil spirit coming from countries trying to destroy America will not maybe destroy America. Now you're trying to know no one greater than God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. No weapon. No weapon. Hallelujah. So I put it above every other country in the name of Jesus. Remandere bashida la basata. Remandere bakasa. Repatan dere biyakoshi. Shiata, Jendele Baroko Sia, Rematende, Golabasata. I release the fire, the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost right now. All over the other country, those are suffering right now. In the name of Jesus, I live for the poor and the needy, that they will needs be met in the name of Jesus. I live for those that lost their job. I live for those that lost their business. Yes. I speak favor for them that restoration is coming. Hallelujah. I speak favor for them for recovery is coming. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No Form against some Shapas. In the name of Jesus, say, get your hands off these business people. That God will raise up their business, raise up the ministry, raise up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And get the stir up in Congress, and they will do what's right in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God, Republicans stand up for truth in the name of Jesus. There's some Democrats that love. Hallelujah. You Democrats, get it right too in the name of Jesus. All that out there ain't getting right, get it right in Jesus' name because God is in control. In the name of Jesus. The storm is not over. Hallelujah. The storm is over. But if God got the first of that so so, when it's not over till God says so. Hallelujah. So whatever you want to, whatever's happened, God's getting ready. Get rid of that storm in your life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God's moving that mountain that is coming against you. In the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over everything. If you got loved ones with COVID virus, I curse COVID virus out their body right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We're divine healing right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I bind this new world. It ain't gonna happen. This antichrist ain't gonna happen till God said it. it won't be no premature time because it ain't a time yet. We living under grace and God's will shall be done in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. For God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power, of love, and a sound mind. So let the fire, the fire, the fire, the Holy Ghost. Manifest here today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thing that's not right. Hallelujah. Amen. I release Psalm, uh, Psalm 70, verse 2. When they become, let it be confusion. They start fighting one another. Just like they did in the second chronicle 20. They, they become to come against and they begin to fight against each other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. The Bible says, when the enemy comes and not can flood the spirit of the Lord, but lift up a stand against him. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yes. So every time he put his mouth on you, God's going to send it back to him. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Every witch and wall on Sue said they got their mouth on you. Trying to work a spell on you, got a pen and trying to kill you. It's going back on them. Exodus 22 18. If they don't repent, they will not live. In the Lord. name of Jesus. In fact, I make it double. Double on them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I praise you, God. I give you favor right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you right now for moving right now in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah well welcome today hallelujah I'm talking on the subject I had so many topics to talk about as I spend time with God amen I'm not making no New Year's resolution amen I don't go because most of the time we don't keep it 
Amen. I've been guilty of it. You've been guilty too. Amen. We are better Amen. than that. I'm going to read the word more. I'm going to do all this and find yourself that you're not doing what you say. Amen. If you started off from last year to go into ne- this year, you are already doing it. Amen. 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 You got to start before you go into next year. You just can't wait to next year and say do it. If you don't start before next year, then you won't do nothing. You do the same thing. Amen. Amen. You got to want to do something. Amen. Hallelujah. I ain't going to say I'm going to be early. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do my best to be on time. Time. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. I thank God for my mother. She did a miracle in her life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. She's a beautiful person. Amen. I thank God for her. She's alive. Amen. Her. She's Amen. 83 years old. The doctor gave up on her. I testified, but he didn't give up on Denny Mama. Say hello, everybody. Praise him. Hello, everybody. Amen. Amen. She sound good. Hallelujah. We thank God she's she she's uh doing good. I mean, he's blowing my mind. She's walking better. She's a, a she's a miracle from the Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, I'm telling you this: whatever you're going through right now, there's nothing that God cannot do. He can work any miracle and turn it around. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You got to believe in His Word. You got to trust His Word because His Word will work for you if you believe it in faith. Faith coming by hearing. Faith coming by hearing. Yes. And when you hear it, you're going to intake the word and do what the word says. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you hear the word, intake means you're going to receive it. Amen. It's like we eat some food. Amen. And sometimes we're hungry. We'll eat something there just to eat something. And if, if the same case, and we know it may not be good, we eat it. Amen. So why don't you eat more of the word? Amen. Amen. And it may My sometimes Lord. it may not taste good. Sometimes it may be bitter to you because it's getting you at a point that you you on the conviction because it's telling you what you need to do when you don't want to receive it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God ain't going to take you somewhere that he's not going to make it better for you. Hallelujah. Amen. He got to work things out for you to get where he wants you to be. Hallelujah. In the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So Amen. So talking about to be led by the spirit. It is so important. The word led means who is guiding you? Who is directing you? Amen. Hallelujah. A lot of people are being led by the blind. The blind lead the blind. A little child can't leave me. A little baby can't leave me. Amen. Most people got the mind of a baby and wants to be a leader. Amen. Amen. They have not got over the past. So you got to be very careful who leads you. Amen. Don't look at the what they got, how big their ministry, how big that. Amen. You look at the quality of the insurance of integrity. Are they really sincere who they are? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You can have a lot of, you got a lot of people that has a, 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 has a, a lot, but they're not really the leader that they're supposed to be. Amen. Amen. The ultimate leader, the supernatural leader should be the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is nobody but God himself in the spirit and Jesus as well. Amen. Amen. He's the one that break, he's the one with the unlimited power that manifests the power that make things happen in church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's important that we don't quench the, the spirit. It's important that we don't vest the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you see the word led by the spirit means that you are setting your part from the world secular things. Amen. You are setting your part, you set yourself apart from the circular things. Amen. Of the world. In other words, you are deciding to make to live a holy life. Amen. Amen. Send yourself from the old ways. Send yourself doing the things that you used to do in the world. Amen. Amen. And you have made a quality decision Lord. to be led by the Spirit, to be guided by the Spirit. Amen. You can tell when people guided by the Spirit the way the attitude and the way they are. Amen. Some people are guided by the Spirit, they think they're right. They know more, they got more wisdom. Let me tell you, ain't nobody on the face of earth no more than the other. Amen. Amen. And the only one that knows more is the Holy Spirit. He should be your guided counselor. He's your advocate. He's your, he's your uh, counselor and your and he's your counselor and your uh, uh, and that's who he should be. Amen. He should be your number one coach. Amen. 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 He should be your intercessor because a lot of times we don't know what to pray about. He knows what to pray about. Amen. He should be your teacher. Amen. Hallelujah. He should be there uh, there to help you. But a lot of you uh, bless him and don't let him guide you and don't let him direct you. Amen. And I find that when you let him lead you, everything will fall in place because he's not going to do something above uh, 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 above what the Lord wants. Amen. Because he's the same thing. He said, I'm going to go away and send you another comforter. And the comforter is the Holy Spirit. So I want to go with your Bible first and let's go to Romans the 8th chapter. Verse 14. Romans the 8th chapter, verse 14. Amen. Romans the 8th chapter. And it says this. <coughs> Thank you. 
them that are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. Now, when you see the word sons, means the children of God. That means that you are ready to mature and become a son of God, to become a, the children of God. Amen. Amen. Some people are still on the pacified. Some people are still on the milk. They are not growing because they're not the sons of God. They're still in the old dead ways. Amen. Amen. You know they're not allowing the Holy Spirit to guide them. Amen. And you know, if you want to change, allow the Holy Spirit to change you. Amen. I have wrote a book, A Change Must Come, and that's going to always be popular because the change ain't going to come until you allow the Holy Spirit to change you. Amen. And it first has to begin with your heart. Amen. Because when your heart changes, then you want to change. You want your heart to be like Christ Jesus. So the Holy Spirit is uh, what he's going to do. He's going to change your way of seeing things, change your way of thinking, change your way of doing. You begin to embrace the change in the spirit realm, not in the flesh. Amen. Amen. Because the flesh Amen. is going to be countermined and going to go back in old ways. The Bible says that when you become in Christ, you become a new creature. Hallelujah. I mean, creation means a creation that comes from the word create. That God has created you. Amen. Hallelujah. They Amen. You. Hallelujah. For his purpose. For his plans. Amen. So what the Holy Spirit does, it guides you into the plans of God. Amen. It directs you in the plans of God. And see, a lot of times he will put you in a place to see how you're going to handle it. Amen. Amen. How are you going to trust God? Mm. It's not always the devil. It's, it's the Holy Spirit guide you there. I remember in the Bible, in St. John, when, when, Jesus, uh, 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 when Jesus got baptized in the water with John the Baptist, he didn't need to be baptized because he's God himself. But he, he did that for example. Amen. And, and the example, amen, he said, I should be, I'm, I'm the one should, uh, should be baptized, not you. Amen. But God allowed John the Baptist to, uh, to uh, baptize him. He told him that he was the best, one of the greatest uh, prophet, Black like Elijah. Amen. Amen. And so he allowed it. And you remember when he got baptized, the first thing, the Holy Spirit led him into the wilderness. Amen. And, and think about it. The Holy Spirit led him in the wilderness. The wilderness in a place of dry land, a place where there are things that will be tempted at. Amen. Amen. And amen. what you're going to do. Amen. So he had to go. He was the perfect example. Amen. Jesus was the perfect example. And we follow the leadership of Jesus. And, you know, the Holy Spirit is Jesus himself. Amen. We will see things fall in place. Amen. You won't have to ask it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But so many times we, we vex it. Amen. Because we agree because we don't want to really do it. You want to say, well, it's the Holy Spirit or not. Amen. You should not have no doubt because the Bible says that my sheep knows my voice. Amen. So Amen. You know his voice by now. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, how do you know his voice? He ain't gonna go against what he's saying in this word. <laughs> because if, if, if you're gonna if you if you're gonna go against his word, then that's not the Holy Spirit, that's the flesh and the devil talking to you. Amen. The Holy Amen. Spirit don't guide you into the past of, of, of false and, and fake. Amen. Cause and deceive you. Amen. Because the Bible says clearly in John 10 10, the enemy comes to kill. Still, let me see if I can steal this. I don't know that I can get in my pocket. Amen. <laughs> still kill and destroy. But let me say this word. Get rid of everything. Amen. But Amen. Jesus came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. And the first life is a abundant life is everlasting life. Amen. Amen. You should be setting your life with the things of above. Don't think about trying to make a, 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 a eternal home here on earth. Amen. Because this is going to uh, uh, disappear. Amen. Amen. Because the new earth, when the, in the end, your re revelation is coming from heaven. Amen. Amen. So we must focus on the heavenly things. Amen. More than uh, the, the focus on the past. We can focus on the world. Amen. We, when you say, when well, you can't help but things go, but it's always, he said, in this world, you're going to have trials and tribulation. Yes. In other words, it's always going to be trials and tribulation in this world. The purpose of the trials and tribulation is to mature you to totally depend on God. Amen. One of the things that a lot of you don't pass the test, amen, when you're tempted, amen. If the Bible says that, uh, 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 First first Corinthians 10 13 says, God is faithful. There's nothing new on the sun. Amen. Means that there's nothing new on the sun that you don't know that you will be tempted. But Jesus was tempted. Amen. Amen. Now he here got got uh, was merged into the water, and the first thing the Holy Spirit is sent him into the wilderness. Amen. <laughs> and some of you came and stand. Well, what is the word, what is the purpose of wilderness? To mature you to grow up. 
Amen. To trust God in the midst of all hell breaking loose. You don't know how things going to work out. You don't know how it's going to make, but that is the whole procedure. Amen. Amen. So Amen. Jesus is a perfect example. If you want to follow somebody, the Holy Spirit leads you to follow the, uh, Jesus, what he did. Amen. He says it in the book of St. John 14 that he's going to bring in all things to remember what Jesus did. Amen. A lot of you need to read the book of St. John. It talks of the life of Jesus. All of them talk of the life of Jesus from the beginning from Genesis to Revelation. But John tells about how Jesus walked, amen, 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 in his way, amen. He was not accepted because he, he chose to walk the right way. He chose, he came as a humanly, speaking as a human being, to, he knew because he made us, amen. amen. And he, he was the perfect example that we can make it through him, not of ourselves. You hear the people say, stay safe. I said, honey, the only way you're going to stay safe through Jesus Christ, you can't keep yourself safe. Amen. No matter what you can do, you can bowl up your house and, and have a, 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 a bomb, a, a big bomb house that they went and bomb went blowing and will not keep you safe. Amen. But when you have the uh, have the leadership of the Holy Spirit to help you keep safe, I don't care what they throw at you. The next door over, it will uh, won't be uh, yours will be touched and they'll be touched. Amen. I when the hurricane Amen. come, you know, uh, uh, everybody bowled up and all this. Yeah, so I can do the best. And me and some did the best. And you know, the people next to us, and uh, and we had this, uh, you know, this little uh, tent, the uh, 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 two uh, uh, shed. Amen. And. The people next door, two shed picked up, and our two shed was not even stuck, was not even uh, uh, fully stuck and really uh, 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 stable, had the stability to stay down. But theirs on blue, and I was was right there. Amen. 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 And we didn't have all the windows blowing, and everybody else wind blowing, and the windows, but we had the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Holy Spirit guide us. The Holy Spirit direct us. So we was in the best protection, safe plan. Amen. Amen. The Bible said it clearly in Psalm 91, that comes for not David, that comes from uh, Moses. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High means that if you live in the secret place of the Most High, means that he lives in you, you already safe. Amen. Amen. And if you're not saved, you safe because someone in your family are saved. Amen. And praying for you to be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, and so people, get, so the enemy has to try to twist the mind and try to twist the, the way of saying, stay safe. You can't stay safe no matter what you do. Amen. Amen. But if you are a child of God, the Holy Spirit will keep you safe. Amen. Because he said, he that dwells, that liveth, and uh, stay in a secret place. I mean, a secret place. No one can go there unless they are born again, a child of God. Hallelujah. Nicodemus thought that be born again, that he had to go back in his mother's womb. Because he had, nobody can't go back in your mother's womb. <laughs> Bad enough, a nine-pound baby, or sometimes an eight-pound baby can't come out of the womb. Hallelujah. So he said, you got to be born of the Spirit. And once we understand that the spirit, who is the spirit? God is his spirit. Hallelujah. It's a spirit. Is someone, it's a, it's a, 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 a phenomenal presence of a supernatural being. Amen. You can't see, but you know that it's there. Amen. Amen. You, amen. And it's there all the time. It means that he's there 24 seven. Amen. So when you allow the Holy Spirit to guide you, direct you, he keep you in a safe place. Yes. He direct you in a safe place. Amen. I cannot keep you in a safe place if I want to. Amen. amen. Yeah. We are no match to the devil. Only way we, we match because of the spirit of God that dwells in us, the greater one that lives in us. Amen. amen. The Holy Spirit, amen, that protects us and shields us. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And once we understand that, when we allow the Spirit to guide us and direct us, we are already protected. Amen. When we let him lead us, no matter what we need, we are fitting in the plans of God. Now, it had to be the plans of God for, 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 for God to allow Jesus to go in the, in the wilderness for a temptation. That's when the wilderness is temp tempted by the devil. Amen. Mm -hmm. In a dry place, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. In a dry place, amen, where there's no, look like no help. But God was there. Amen. But how God was there? Because the Holy Spirit let you know that he was there when you have faith in God. Amen. Amen. Faith in the Amen. word that Amen. know he's there. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's what the Holy Spirit was doing. So Jesus became that, uh, uh, came that, uh, 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 came that uh, uh, represented, you know, uh, guys, uh, uh, the best one to represent, show us, amen, to, to follow after, amen, hallelujah. Amen. That's why he said, uh, disciples are followers, follow after Jesus. Amen. So the Holy Spirit help you follow amen. after Jesus. He was tempted for 40 days and 40 nights. You got these people saying, well, I'm going to do like Jesus, I'm going I'm to fast for 40 days and 40 nights, amen, and you can hardly make it on the, on the 39 days. <laughs> <laughs> 
Amen. <laughs> going for one. And I tell you, I ain't never been on that. I ain't going to try. Hallelujah. Because <laughs> you need the one. I'm not going to lie. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God, I've been on 21 days. Well, you know, 21 days. And I go back on 21 days. I was a continuing. I go on 21 days. Like a certain time, I get off. Amen. And, you know, because I, the Holy Spirit don't have me on 40 days. He want me to use wisdom. Amen. For my body. Because he knows how my body is to keep it right. Amen. Amen. You know, so I'm not trying to prove how holy I am. And so I got so much revelation. I got so much knowledge and so much understanding. I'm not proving that. So I, I, I'm, 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 I'm allowing the Holy Spirit to prove through me who he is. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Not law is proven, but allow the Holy Spirit to prove it. Amen. Because I'm led by the Spirit. So when he direct my path, I can't go but, but the right way. So I'm safe in his arm. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm saving the love. Then I can say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Amen. Amen. Then I can say, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? Yes. The Lord is my light. Amen. Hallelujah. Whom shall I be afraid of? Amen. Yes. That's where I'm safe at. Yes. When I use that word, the Holy Spirit say his to use the word. Amen. So I begin to speak that word. And so when I use that word, I begin to be safe because that word will work for you. Yes. Because if the word is quick and powerful, it says in Hebrews 4 12, it's like a two edged sword. It's like with the surgery used as a little sharp knife to cut your skin. It's hard. Amen. But the Holy Spirit, the word can cut anything. Amen. And destroy it and put things in order. And at the same time, what it does is separate what is good and what is bad. Amen. Amen. Said, no, you don't need this. This is what you need. Amen. And so a lot of times, if we allow the Holy Spirit, he said, well, why I'm going that way? There's a reason why. Because a lot of you got to mature. Amen. So you want everything and fast. I need to get me some burger cane. I go there and get me a hamburger. Amen. <laughs> you want something right there quick. Amen. Amen. So time of God not, not going to lie because he's, he's testing you. Amen. When you're tempted, what you're going to do? You're going to trust God? Amen. Amen. Or you're going to go back your own ways. Hallelujah. Knowing that when you are tempted, you was not by himself. Jesus knew he was not tempted. Amen. When you read about the temptation, he was he knew he was not by himself. Amen. So he was the perfect example to follow. That's why he said disciples follow the steps of Jesus. That's what the Holy Spirit does. Help us to follow the footsteps of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You know, it said, uh, uh, the, the Bible says the steps of a righteous man is ordered by the Lord. Means that it's ordered by the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Amen. When you allow the Holy yeah. Spirit lead you, you can help her go right, not wrong. Amen. Amen. It may not be the way, the direction you want to go, but He knows where you're going. It's no accident. It's never coincident when He leads you, because He has a plan. And we allow His plan to work in our life. Everything will fall in place. Amen. Amen. We Amen. Have, to have a growing process. It's like a baby got to grow. You don't expect the baby to be on the milk. They don't want no milk no more. They want the cereal. Amen. They growing fast, and now they're talking. They they walking eight nine months years old. Amen. Moses is walking a a, a, a passivatory. Some of Moses is walking eight nine years old. Nine months, you know, he, he's walking. Amen. Amen. You, you don't see him, but he's he's all right. He's doing good and talking everything. Babies grow fast. Amen. Amen. But the same thing. You become a baby in Christ. You can grow fast. It's who you who's leading you. Amen. Amen. You have the right. She's a good grandma, so she's leading the right way. Amen. So you have the Holy Spirit leading you the right way. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So when you let the Holy Spirit lead you, you can't help but go the right way. Amen. You may not like it, but you'll try. Amen. You may fall, start off crawling in the beginning. Amen. To grow. Amen. But at least you're making a step. Amen. Some people still crawling. Hmm. And they're falling trying to walk. Amen. Because they can't walk the steps, what they say they're going to walk. <laughs> oh, I'm here about talking. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because they're not really led by the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. They, they're like the men sitting in the chair. That statue, just thinking, thinking. That's all they're doing. What well, I should do next. Well, the Holy Spirit will tell you what to do next. Amen. Asking, hallelujah. Amen. It may not be the idea of thinking that you want. Amen. Because the Bible says in Proverbs, the third chapter, they trust in the Lord. It means have confidence in the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's the Spirit of God will put you in confidence in God only. Amen. Not self, yourself, and people. Amen. Not your husband or wife or children. Amen. Family. But Him. Because if they're not in, in, in the Spirit, how can they guide you? Amen. If the wife is not in the Spirit, how can they guide you? Hallelujah. If even your in leadership, if they're not in the Spirit, how can they guide you? And everything Amen. has Amen. to be directed by the Spirit. Amen. 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 The Spirit is not going to lead you in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. And allow you in the wrong place because you want to do your thing. You like the iceberg. It's my thing. I do what I want to do. Nobody can tell me what to do. That's the problem. Nobody can tell you what to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. My what Lord. Happened, what, what had happened? I'm glad you asked. You have got a taste of God's wisdom. You got a taste of God's knowledge. You got a taste of God's understanding, revelation. And you have just forgot about the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
-hmm. You figure that you can get this thing going. I'm up here talking. Ain't me. It's the Holy Spirit because he know what you need. Amen. Amen. I had a different topic, but it's all about the same, but God's plan. Amen. So the Holy Spirit puts you in the in the in the position in God's plan. And when God put, when He puts you in, in position in God's plan, it's not what you're gonna like when what He's what he gonna have you to do. Amen. Amen. He gonna have you do things that you thought you couldn't do and you don't want to do. Amen. He gonna have you do things that you gotta love that person. You know that it did you wrong. Gotta go back and you don't told them off and gave you a piece of mind. Then turn around and say, "Will you forgive me? And I love you." Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Why? Because he, there's there's things in us that he has to get rid of. Amen. Amen. He didn't make us perfect. So he made us imperfect. Amen. So what does the Holy Spirit begin to do a, a work in us, surgery on us? Amen. 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 He began to go and cut everything in us not right. And sometimes we don't like it because we're trying to hold on some things that we should have let go a long time ago. Amen. 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 We think that it's right and the Holy Spirit's not right. He said, that's the problem. You've been holding on stuff from childhood. Most of the problems come from childhood. A lot of you living in childhood. And it comes from that spirit of rejection, which I'll be teaching about soon. Amen. Amen. Because rejection brings in a whole lot of spirit. Amen. So the Holy Spirit, nobody been rejected more. If you read Isaiah 53, you forget about rejection. It'll tell you what he did. Amen. Amen. He wasn't even good to look at. You was a busy trying to be so good looking, but the look don't come on the outside. It goes on the inside. Amen. Because you're going to be the most handsome man on the outside and the most uh, beautiful woman on the outside, but your heart is so bitter and wicked. Amen. Amen. So the Holy Spirit, what he does, he take a person with a wicked heart and begin to work on them. Amen. And begin to change their heart that they become more like Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. There are so many people heart is so uh, so hurt and pain. They, they say, well, why, why should she have the best? Or why should he have the best? Amen. And that's not God. Amen. The Holy Spirit said, that needs some work. Well, why did the Holy Spirit allow this person to talk to me like that? Because you ain't got over uh, of, of that past that's still there. Amen. Amen. I'm going to give them a peace of mind. That's the problem. You don't give them so much peace of mind, you about to lose your mind. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> And your whole mind is disappeared. So therefore, your mind that used to be is not there because the Spirit of God is not in, in touch. You're not in touch with the Holy Spirit. Amen. He's taking specifically in John the uh, uh, the um the eighth chapter, Lee, twenty three and twenty four. Say, God, God is looking for true worshipers. Yes. Worship means that they dedicate their life. They they glorify Him. They praise Him. They seek His face. Amen. Amen. They want to be more like Him. You know, and, 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 and He's not saying that you could be with twenty four seven because nobody can take Him twenty four seven. We'd be all burned out. <laughs> Amen. But then Moses, no, he couldn't take. Uh, God said he had to turn his back. Because it was too much for Moses. Amen. Amen. But when he spent the time with him, he was never the same. Amen. 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 So the Holy Spirit would guide you. Amen. And direct you. Say, okay, he would give you the right right son. All of a sudden, the son come out of nowhere. He knows what you need. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So what we think we need is not what he said what we need. Amen. Amen. So we are like, if the Lord is your shepherd, you shall not want. That's how the Holy Spirit. Then you won't want anything because you now totally depend on the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're allowing the Holy Spirit to guide you. You're allowing to take upon yourself the word. You're, you're not just taking the word, but you're applying the word. Amen. You're filling out your application, and it's just what you say. It's no lies. It's application that you're going to take that word, amen, and run with it and do something about it. Amen. By him. Amen. So when you do that, whatever the enemy has 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 put you out there and is trying to trap you, uh, assignment, it won't be able to work. It automatically turn around. Amen. You won't have to look for favor if you let the Holy Spirit lead you. Amen. You won't have to look for blessing if you let the Holy Spirit lead you. Amen. You. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So Jesus was tempted out there for 40 days. And, and Satan said, all this, all this, I gave you all this and everything and all this and poke the word and everything else. But and what did he use to, to, to defend himself? Amen. He used the word, which he's the word. Amen. Amen. But when you get in there, where you have to go, I, I'm in 10 chapters a day, and then you forgot the 10th chapter what it is. <laughs> Amen. You prove people, you all that. Amen. And you all that. You still, he's still working on you. So the Holy Spirit's still working on you. Amen. It, it, the whole purpose is that you take on the character of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what the Holy Spirit wants you to become more like him. And so it's a daily procedure. Amen. Amen. You have to make it just like you have a daily habit of giving or doing this in the morning. Well, make it the daily habit of getting up in the word. Amen. Make it the daily habit get a verse and say, what word should I need today, Holy Spirit, that's going to fit today for the plans that God has for me. Amen. Amen. Not always ask what you need, but ask what he needs. When we begin to ask that, 
it is already done. He does not move on our need. He moved at what we what he think we need, what we need right now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But he knows what's best for us. Amen. It says it clearly when you even when you pray, the Bible says in Romans 8 26 says, The Spirit prays for you. Know your weakness. Amen. Because a lot of you praying some dead prayer, praying some uh, uh, unfaith, unfaith prayer, ain't got no faith in it. Amen. <laughs> And then you, you keep going to circle and you wonder why the prayer is not answered. Amen. You're going to this Amen. prophet, that person, trying to get the prayer answered. But you got to have the faith as well. Amen. So what are you doing? Yeah. You're depending on the person instead of depending on the spirit. Amen. Amen. And see, that's the mistake that we make. I've been there, done that long time ago. I depend on the Holy Spirit. When I started coming in the Lord, it was the Holy Spirit stopped, uh, stopped uh, teaching me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He, he taught me the t difference between the voices. Amen. This is God's voice and this is not God's voice. Amen. Amen. He let me know to test the Spirit out. Like it said in 1 John, the fourth chapter, amen, uh, uh, the first chapter say, test the Spirit out means try the Spirit. Every spirit is not a God. Amen. 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 Because the enemy comes to kill, steal, and deceive you. Amen. There's such a strong spirit of deception. People that say they are the Lord is not of the Lord. Amen. We got so many My Lord. We got so many wolves and sheep can clothing. Say Amen. one thing and do another. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. They can't walk in the spirit of honesty. Because they're not allowing the Holy Spirit to lead them. Yes. They're allowing themselves to be led. Because yes. they want population, popularity. That's the key right there. Amen. What's the problem is the key is that they they want to be pop popular. They don't want to be rejected. They want to be known. Amen. They got a big church. They got all this. And I'm not knocking on big church because God wants us to go. He said, be fruitful and multiply. But it has to be done the right way by the Spirit. Amen. Amen. It has to be led by the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Because when you're guided and led by, directed by the Spirit, everything will fall in place. Amen. 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 And now we want the blessings. Amen. God has to release blessings. But what But what you going to do when you get the blessing? Amen. Amen. Are you going to let your flesh guide you and do overdo something? Amen. Amen. Ask the Holy Spirit say, Holy Spirit, what did I need to do with this blessing? Amen. And we begin to ask the Spirit of God, we will see things uh, uh, happen more for us without even asking. Amen. I just what I did, I stopped praying and Lord, I thank you. I don't know what you want. Amen. But I have an idea because you don't put it in my head. What we want, I'm gonna do it. Amen. I may not understand it, but I'm I'm standing on the word, Romans 8:28, that all things, not the one thing, but when it says all things mean every detail of my life is working out for good. Amen. The purpose and plan of God's life. Yes, Amen. Lord. Amen. What's your Amen. Uh, 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 the man used to talk about, what's that man's name? Uh, uh, I can't think of his name right now. It's right there on my uh, on my tongue. Amen. Uh, Miles Monroe. Amen. It, 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 I said, purpose, purpose. If you ain't got a purpose, then you ain't gonna you ain't gonna make it. Amen. So what the Holy Spirit do? He plays in your heart that you're here for a purpose. Amen. And that purpose is for God. Hallelujah. And so when you allow God's purpose and plan work out your life, you can help but fall into where you need to fall in. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Because what you're doing, you're allowing the Holy Spirit to guide you and lead you. Amen. You're not letting the blind lead you. Amen. They know it all. They'll know nothing. They don't Amen. Know Jesus. Amen. No, I am a dummy. You, you, you know about the books when they came out with the Microsoft? They said, dummy for Microsoft. <laughs> but amen. I'm dummy for Jesus because I don't know more than Jesus. Amen. Amen. Nobody knows. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. He knows more. But so when you allow him to direct you, he begins to open up doors of revelation. What is revelation? Unveiling God's, amen, divine mystery and secret of him. Now, it's not only to, not to everybody, but those that dwell in the secret place. When he said dwell in the secret place, those that have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. So they're in a place that they can't get out. The only way you're going to get out when you stop believing and receiving where you at, that what God can do. Amen. 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 And so abide on the mighty means that you, you shall live on the mighty. I mean, you always be safe on the mighty. You always be in a safe place on the mighty. You always be a protected on mighty. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter what's come against you, no matter what the witches and the wallers try to kill you, they won't be able to kill you because you you in a safe place. Why? You are allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you. Amen. 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 It's God. And when you allow him to get, uh, guide you and direct you, amen, you can't help but be protected. You can't help but uh, uh, be blessed and have the favor of God on you. 
I'm not knocking your leader, but if the leader is not guided by the Holy Spirit, then they can mislead you the wrong way. Amen. That's why right. you have to have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. So the Holy Spirit helps you have a relationship. Just like you want to get to know that man, amen, you should get to know Jesus more. That's what the Holy Spirit here to for you to amen. know Jesus more. Amen. You would not be ignorant of Satan's advice, but you be wiser than the serpent and the harmless as the dove. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So we have to get to the basic. When we allow the spirit to lead us, we can't go wrong. Even though it may look wrong, amen, but it, it won't go wrong. Moses allowed God to lead him. But the, that, that, that pillar of uh, light, a cloud, was the Holy Spirit guiding him and directing him. Amen. Amen. Praise God. They didn't re recognize it, but that's what it was. He was guiding them. And the only one really recognized the pillar of cloud was guiding was, was Moses. Because he was in tune in God. Amen. And so there was a time they thought that God would only want to talk to Moses. Moses said, no, God wants to talk to you as well. Amen. Amen. And so a lot of times people think that God was got this particular person that he want to talk to. He got his favor. But Bible always tell me that God is no respected person. There's no there's no Jews or Greeks first. He loves us all. Amen. 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 So he don't love me no more. He loves you. It is up to us to take that word and believe in that word and run with that word. Amen. Amen. But we got to learn to run with the word with patience. What patience does? Have the, have the ability to be in content no matter what. No matter it come hell or hot water around you, you're able to wait on the Lord. You're able to rest in the Lord. Amen. You have that reassurance because the Holy Spirit is guiding you and directing you. So you don't need to get up and worry about I got you. Amen. Because see, sometimes we move too fast and we don't wait in the Lord. Amen. The Bible takes it clear in, in Isaiah 40, verse 31. Say, them that wait upon the Lord, rest upon the Lord, trust in God, have no hope in God. He's going to renew your strength. In other words, when he said going to renew your strength means he's going to renew you inside of you when you get tired out. Amen. Your strength, the power, amen, that's in you. Amen. In, in other words, when you get weak, he's going to renew you. Have amen. You. Amen. He's going to give you amen. his strength. Amen. Yes, amen. Not your script, not nobody else's script, but his script. Amen. amen. So when you wait and hoping in God, you may not understand what's going on. You know that God said working things out. Amen. Not what you wanted to, but working things out good. You rest and trust in God. Amen. So when you're doing that, the Holy Spirit is working behind the scene for you, manifesting with the plans and the purpose that God has for you. And amen. 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 And if you miss it, one thing God will can, can cause we under grace, and grace was there with Samson. Amen. Grace was there in the beginning. But grace, God came personally to bring grace uh, stronger because he know that we couldn't stand. He know, you know what makes it so awesome? God just blow my mind. He know how the future gonna be, so that's why he came personally that we'll be able to stand. Amen. Amen. Uh, really, Isaiah forty thirty one really talk about grace. Amen. He give grace. My grace is sufficient. Enough. I'm gonna wait in for me. I'm gonna use strength. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You rest upon me. You trust me, and you hope. And you're looking out for me, Amy. Looking, I'm looking out for God. Who you waiting, God? I don't see him. I do. Amen. Amen. I want to move ahead of God. <laughs> so you be like the man in Psalm one. He said, "He said, blessed in the one that don't sin in the seat of uncomfort, not stand in the seat ungodly, but his delight is on the word of God." In other words, he he he, he made up his mind. I don't want to get no counseling or, or stand around negative people. Don't know what they talking about. Ignorant people. I want to get from directly from the throne of grace. Amen. Amen. And that's Amen. from the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So while he wait and meditate, me meditate me. He begin to study it. And and, and begin to speak it out and become let it become real and he became this is like an actress when they get a part they got to meditate on that part this the script they got amen until they remember but they got to get it until they become that part amen amen so the same thing with the word of god the holy spirit helps us to meditate on that part which is the word of god and we become the word of god amen we become like the word of god hallelujah so therefore whatever needs to be done then the, whatever is sent against us by the enemy it won't work amen, amen. hallelujah amen amen, I don't hear about talking. amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah hallelujah so you wait on the lord to renew you amen and god knows that we can get tired said them that wait upon the lord he shall renew their strength amen he shall renew their strength they shall mount as wings and eagles in other words think what he's gonna do as he renew your strength he's preparing you for a greater dimension high dimension in him amen that's the holy spirit amen amen because you allow the holy spirit to guide you you allow the holy spirit to lead you you allow the holy spirit to direct you and because you have made a a quality decision to to let the change manifest and embrace the change that's what grace to embrace the change to be more like jesus amen Hallelujah. Then you become like Psalm 149, verse 8. He said, God is so gracious, so so gracious to me. He got so much grace 
Amen. For Amen. Us. You can't imagine. Amen. Amen. And so full of compassion. Amen. And, and, and never, uh, uh, you know, always showing mercy. Amen. 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 Always good. So what is he doing? What are you doing? The Holy Spirit is doing a work in you that you become more like Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. The character. Amen. You begin to look like him. You begin to act like him. And you go into a place and you say, why is the person talking to me back? Because the character of Jesus begin to come out of you. Amen. You mouth, Amen. It's the fire of God come out and they can't take it. It's not because you did some wrong. They can't take what's in you. Amen. Uh -uh. <laughs> because you made a decision that you allow him to lead you. You allow him to renew your strength. Then your strength, not your strength for him because the Lord, the word of God said, the Lord is our strength and the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when you do that, you will see the change. Amen. Amen. You allow the Holy Spirit to change you. You know, when you're getting better and you're sick, the devil's going to throw everything at you to get you, yes. uh, uh, get you, uh, 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 get your attention. Amen. Yeah. Amen. To distract you. <laughs> yes. You got to let the devil know the hell with you, Satan. I recognize you. Amen. Amen. Because he don't want you to listen. Tell him the hell with him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. He doesn't have nothing on you unless you allow him home. And that's what God was showing you. When Jesus got the uh got the word, amen, was merged in the water, the Holy Spirit one that got him in the wilderness. So you may be in the wilderness right now, it's the Holy Spirit. Why? Because he's maturing you. Amen. 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 You'll never grow up if everything comes to you in a silver platter. Amen. 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 What you mean, Apostle? You'll never trust God. Amen. You'll never walk in the spirit. Amen. You always depend on the, the things in the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That, 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 he's a liar. That's it. That's it. He's just trying to get your attention. That's it. He's a liar. Amen. Amen. He would do. Amen. He don't want you to. And you could be in church and and you could be just enjoying the service. And all of a sudden, some come out of nowhere. You forgot to turn your stove off. You know you better get this done. <laughs> Amen. And you ain't thinking about that. Amen. I never forget what I was saying. Just got saved. I'm never saved. I am still saved. And all of a sudden, this young conversation come out of nowhere. And I said, God, did anybody go through what I go through? Then I heard Fred Price say, Dr. Fred Price say, you could be praising the Lord. And, a, and a, the devil would send a signal away. Amen. Yes. Like a satellite. You know, you know I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Amen. Internet. Amen. Uh, 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 spiritual internet to get your attention, get your mind off of praising God. Amen. Amen. Because you've been praising God too much. You've been reading the word too much. Amen. And then you can be in church praising God. All of a sudden you get a pain here. You get a pain there. Amen. You get a cramp there. And uh, you know, you're feeling good because he wants to get your mindset changed that you won't allow the Holy Spirit to have his way in your life. Amen. 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 So we need to recognize it. That's why it's so important that we need to put our whole armor on every day. Amen. You get up, you put your whole armor on your flesh. You get up, you got your mouth, stay, your mouth stays stank. Amen. You go take a bath or wash off, whatever you do. Amen. Hallelujah. You may get one word. Amen. But you should do that. Make it a habit of uh, 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 putting on the whole armor on God every day. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. that Bible said the weapons of warfare are not carnal, but it's mighty to God pulling down strongholds. Amen. Yes. Amen. So when you allow the Holy Spirit to guide you, direct you, it may not be the way you want to, but I tell you, at the end, you're going to come out on top. Amen. Come Amen. As the head and not the tail. Amen. Come as the linen, not the barber. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless and and when you, when you want to be blessed, and, and that's what it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The pain is gone in Jesus' name. Sit up. It's gone. The hell with the devil. That's the devil that's trying to get your attention. Amen. Amen. You're already healed. Amen. 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 Don't, don't entertain him. Amen. Amen. Don't entertain him. You're already all right healed. Give him hell. Give him hell. Amen. Give him everything else. Give him hell. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And he tried to attack me, my body, when I come, because he didn't want this to know. But see, the greater one is in me than he that's in the world. See, the compliment we see from the Father in John 15, 26, it says the Holy Spirit assists believers in prayer. Amen. And we should be praying. Uh, we, we should pray about food. Amen. We should pray in everything. Jude 120 says, and it is even God's people in accordance with the will of God means by praying in the spirit, we allow the will of God to manifest. Amen. 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 That's just need the devil's lie. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Romans 8 Amen. 27. Amen. See, he also leads into righteousness. Galatians uh, 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 15, 6 to 8, 5, 6, 8. He produces fruit those that yield to him. Means that the fruit of the spirit grows when you yield to the spirit of God. Yes. And we can yield to a gospel yes. and uh, uh, watching uh, some of these programs and everything mm. else. Why can't we yield to the spirit of God? Amen. We make it difficult. It's not difficult. Amen. Because Jesus showed us 
the way out. Amen. Of course, the enemy is going to use the word when you when when you are tempted because he don't want you a uh, uh, change a heart and get closer. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. But you got to be able to stand up. If you don't, you're not going to make it. Amen. So in the world Amen. now we're living in right now, God is testing our faith to trust Him. Yes. Don't look at your condition. Don't look at the situation because when you look at it, you the devil got your got your attention. Amen. He is losing the spirit discretion to get you away for the for what God has done. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Way, you know, you talk the bad talk, then talk the bad talk to the devil in Jesus' name. Amen. You got yeah. the greatest friend around you. The greater one is in you than yeah. he is in the world. Get the devil hell. Amen. Yeah. I'll be in pains and this. I say, ain't nothing but the devil. I say, I'm not going to be handicapped. Amen. Amen. I ain't going to be down. I ain't going to die. I'm going to live a long life. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. He's a long life will I give you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the word. Come on, somebody. Yes. You got yes. to see the whole word. Holy Spirit going to lead you in the word to speak the word. That's what Jesus used when he was tempted the word of God. Amen. Amen. He yeah. use the word of God, but there's no backup in the word of God. It mm. won't work. The Holy Spirit, it says in John 14, the Holy Spirit is the backup. Amen. He's going to back you up when you use that word of God. He's not going to leave you there alone. In other words, when you said that word in faith and believe in faith, the Holy Spirit is going to move for you in no time. Amen. So when Jesus spoke, it is written, and then the devil come back, it is written, where the Bible said he couldn't, he couldn't defeat him. Because when he spoke it, he spoke it with fire. Yes. yes. Amen. Means that he believed who he was. Amen. He's a perfect example that we got to take the word when we challenge, got to believe who we are in him. The greater one is in us than he is in the world. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. You got Amen. to stop bowing down to the devil. The devil Amen. is going to fight you as long as he's here. Some of you will, well, I'm glad this go away for good. It's going to test you, but you got to, you know what? I learned this from Dr. Copeland, most of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You got to say that word every day. Amen. You got to say, I'm healed every day. Amen. Amen. Even though you may not be sick, you say, by his Christ, I'm healed. Amen. What are you doing? You're speaking and existing the word of God. Yes. You're speaking and existing the word, which is faith. That whatever plans and plot and scheme that the enemy has for you, it won't work. Amen. Amen. It's not mean that you're sick, but you know the devil is always challenge you and always trying to set a trap to bring you back where you was before. Amen. He don't want you to see you blessed. He don't want you to see you happy. Yes. He don't want you to see you have this. He wants you to see you down and out, depressed, oppressed, and stressed out. Amen. Amen. He wants you to say now, where's your God at now? Mm. See, ain't nothing right. He's right here closer. Amen. 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 He's with me more. Amen. Amen. He's with me even greater. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. You got to begin to speak it. Amen. That's what Jesus was purpose of. If God be for you, who could be against you? God is on your side. Amen. But some of you act like, oh, you talk the talk, but when the devil attack you, you get to, uh, 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 stop giving to the devil. He only got the power if you let him have the power. Amen. Amen. You can't have the devil and the Holy Ghost at the same time, hmm. which is God Amen. himself. Amen. He knows Amen. He knows it. He wants you to be down and out. Amen. Oh, I don't hear nobody talking. Amen. Amen. Yes, he does. Hallelujah. A walk in the Bible is often a metaphor. All right? It's for practice daily living. Everyday living. You to make it a everyday living. Amen. Amen. Christian life is a journey. A journey. A journey. journey. Yes. Journey. Yes. Amen. You're always on a journey in the Christian life. You Amen. Don't know where you're going, you maybe go there. But then the Holy Spirit ain't gonna put you in a journey where He's not gonna guide you and lead you in the right place. He's not gonna abandon you. Amen. Amen. But when, yeah. when, when, when Moses then was at the end of the rope, Amen. You know, they oh, oh, we should stay in Israel. I mean, we should stay in uh, uh, Asia. We was better off on the slave, and <laughs> even though we was beaten, but we was better off there. Now they on that chair. The devil's on the chair, and Moses and Moses almost got in, but he he said no. He listened to God. Amen. That was at the end. Yes. And there was nothing but the sea. And you say, Apostle, I'm right there at that place right now. But I don't care where you at right now. <laughs> there's never too late. Amen. Amen. The sea into the devil. Amen. Thank God for President Trump is not a wimp. The man said, like a gangster me. He got a gangster man. I said, I'm a fighter. Amen. I feel the same way. I'm a fighter. Amen. Amen. Y'all talk Amen. that talk, but when it's time to fight that talk, you run like a dog on a uh, dog with a tail uh, between your legs. Amen. Amen. Beating, whooping. Amen. 
You got the greater one to beat him. Amen. See, he tried to deceive you and say you losing out. Amen. Amen. But thank God Moses had the faith to believe when God said, take that rod, and which is the word of God, and point it to the uh, to, to the water, and we'll see what I do. Amen. Now Moses yeah. said, well, okay, now. I don't know what he's going to do, but it looks like it's impossible. What are you going to take this rod? You know, that's what some of you sound like. Amen. I don't know what I'm going to do now. How God going to take my impossible situation and, and turn it around? Amen. It don't look like it is. I'm really at a dead end. Come on. Amen. And, uh, my rent due. My mortgage due. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. My phone due. I got a loan due. My husband, well, your husband is trying to drive you crazy. I'm waiting on the husband. Ain't been came yet. And my wife about to drive me crazy. Waiting on the wife ain't came yet. My children getting on my last nerve. I want this and want that. Come on, somebody. Amen. My job and give me a hard time. Amen. Tell me I got to do this. Now that I'm cut my pay. Come on, somebody. Amen. I used to have all this money. All this stuff is going on. And you tell me wait right there that you can really do a miracle. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what the Holy Holy Ghost will put yeah. you in a place. Uh, 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 and, and God's plan, when God's plan is is is, a, is unpredictable place. Amen. It look like it's Amen. not gonna work. In other words, God's gonna take that impossible <clears throat> thing that you're going through and turn around and make it possible. Amen. 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 Moses probably was crazy as him. Uh-huh. <laughs> and here come Pharaoh representing the devil. And he had a whole bunch of soldiers with him. And that's what the devil was bringing a whole bunch of his his demons to fight you. Amen. And you right there at the end. Oh, God. And he getting closer and closer. And God is hardening his heart more. Go after him. Go after him, Pharaoh. Go ahead after him. That's what God tell him. When he's hardening his heart, he's telling Pharaoh, keep on going after him. Amen. <laughs> Didn't that know that God has a plan? Amen. But God's telling me to tell you. Amen. On your tail. Oh, go, go ahead on after her. She going to give up. Go after her. He going to give up. Amen. Don't realize that you four minutes away from your plan. Amen. You Seconds away from your plan. Amen. You no seconds away from your plan. Hallelujah. For Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Thank God Moses obeyed God. He took the rod and he pointed to the water. And God spit the Red Sea. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you, God's going to spit the Red Sea in the, in the in politician four more years with President Trump. God's going to spit the Red Sea in your situation with the devil meant evil. God's going to turn around and make it good. Come yes, on. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Spit that Red Sea. Come on. They stop. Hallelujah. Going said, Keep on going. Don't look back. Amen. The problem is we look back, and, and when we look back, we then we turn to a pillar of salt. What it means? You get stiff, you get scared. Amen. If you just keep on pressing, don't look back, and do what God say, you will win each time. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So Moses, keep on going. Don't look back. Keep on going. And they kept on going. Amen. 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 You probably scared and nervous. Moses probably know, but he trusts God. Amen. He didn't understand how God was going to do it, but he know that God would Amen. take your impossible situation and turn around. Never give up on your, your problems. Never give up at you at the dead zone. Amen. And nothing going zone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He kept on going. Yes. Amen. And, 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 and Pharaoh said, come on, get closer. He sent his best. Amen. That's what the devil does. He sent his best to get you. But the Holy Ghost got the plan. For Amen. Him. Amen. Come on. Make <laughs> Amen. Yes, Lord. I got Acts in 238. Come on. I got my, I got my word. Hallelujah. Amen. On, hallelujah. And then when, when they got, when the children got further in the uh, further going, amen. Amen. God said, okay, Moses, now they're getting close to take the rod and turn around and face it to them. <laughs> and he destroyed all those soldiers. Amen. 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 Military the best. Amen. And Pharaoh was like this. Oh. <laughs> no, you're supposed to be God. Mm -hmm. And see, God like to show up in your situation. Amen. You never Amen. give up on your situation because when the Holy Spirit leads you in a, in a wilderness, believe me, you coming out on top. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, don't Hallelujah. Care I don't care. You got this going on. Whatever. God is going to make you the head, and not the tail. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, the Holy Spirit knows what He's doing. Yes. He needs to tell Him yes. what to do. He knows better than you know. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 And they all was destroyed. Yes. All was destroyed. When Elisha, a, a, a servant, amen, went with him, and they all came after him in the book of Kings, amen, and and, uh, and the servant got messed up. It's, it's, more, it's all these people against us. They got charities and horses. What are we going to do? And uh, and so Elijah prayed for his servant. He said, God, open his eyes and let him know who's with us. And he found that it was more with them than against them. 
Amen. Amen. So you are not in this battle by yourself. You got the Holy Spirit. If you let the Holy Spirit to lead you, you're going to come out on top. Amen. 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 You're going to come out as the head and not the tail. Mm -hmm. And the church say amen. 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 Hallelujah. After that, amen. did, did a Pharaoh follow Moses? No, he ain't following no more. <laughs> <laughs> you may have a spirit of Pharaoh trying to follow you right now, but he won't follow you more. God know how to seal it up. Amen. amen. God yeah. know how to shut it up. Amen. You got to understand, amen. God has a perfect time in everything. The Bible says it's a time and this is a time and that it's, it's, it's a time and season to die time to live time for this and time, victory time for that. Amen. Yeah. So when it's God's timing, amen, you can guarantee timing is impeccable. It's going to work on time. It's amen. Gonna work on time. You're going to see things work out your way. So why did God wait for that? That's how he does it. Amen. He got the devil running. He got the devil thinking he's winning. He loved to make the devil think he's winning. Amen. And he's amen. Make him look like a fool. Hallelujah. Amen. So you know, Hallelujah. Who, who God is through the Holy Spirit, yeah. your situation, you know what? It's your problem. Amen. You begin to say First Peter, the fifth chapter, seven, say, when Peter uh, cast all the cares upon the Lord, he cared for you. You begin to stand on that scripture and say, and so amplify said, make him better. What, cast all your cares once and for all. Amen. This ain't your battle. He told your heart to pass, said, this is not your battle. This is my battle. Stand still and see salvation of the Lord. And when they began to fight, he had the enemy fought each other. They was confused and fought back each other. Amen. See, when you let the Holy Spirit guide you, direct you, you will always win your battle. You will always win on top. Hallelujah. But you got to allow the Holy Spirit to guide you. You got to allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Amen. He is the best guide and counselor of everything you can have. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Give him your best friend. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Walk Hallelujah. in the spirit on those Spirit. He will guide you in your thoughts, your word, and then it will help you. Amen. He will show you for daily what you need to do. Amen. Moment by moment. Daily by daily. Amen. Yeah. A moment, a moment of holiness. Amen. Just as Jesus did. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Full of the Holy Spirit. So you how you get full of the Holy Spirit? When you accept Jesus Christ, you Lord and Savior, you ask the indwelling of the Holy Spirit to be filled with amen and the, the, the tongues come on you with fire. But you gotta continue on allow him to be full of you every day. And the more you get full of the Holy Spirit, it's hard for him to to mess with you. Amen. Amen. The crystal movie where the man got saved. Amen. And he was full of the Holy Spirit. And and when they send the witches and the wallows to his room, he got up and said, Oh, is you what you want? Look at her. She tried to do everything. One of the top witches. Amen. Couldn't do anything. She got saved. Amen. Yeah. She couldn't disappear. Amen. Amen. And no greater power than the Holy Spirit. Come Amen. On. Hallelujah. Amen. Even oh, what you would yeah. tell you, say you Christians, right. this is ignorance. You you should know you got the power we don't have. The power. Amen. Yeah. Amen. There was a witch got saved, but she tried to scrub this whole family. She had the whole town, but this one family, she wanted to know what they had. Every time she go back to the devil, you can get them. Go ahead on. You got the power. He kept deceiving her. Amen. And one day she went to the family and said, what do y'all have? We have Jesus. Oh, Amen. 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 And that witch got saved. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, you don't have to live in fear. When you when you let the Holy Spirit guide you, He will direct you. He said, God did not give you the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Amen. A mind that to think right. That no matter what comes against your mind, that's where the battle is. Your mind's so sound and you so content and you so in peace. It doesn't make no difference. Amen. They may be warring against you, shooting with, they won't touch you because your mindset is in Christ Jesus. Amen. He said, Let this mind be in you. You have the same mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because why? You are dependent and trusting on the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. So yeah. let him guide you and direct you. I'm going to close out. Amen. Do some research and study your own self. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Stop following men and people and follow the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let him be your guidance counselor. He's your teacher. He's your advocate. Amen. Let him be that when he's your backup. He's your intercessor. Amen. Hallelujah. He's there for you. Amen. He's the other comforter. It means he's just like Jesus. He's your friend. Amen. He's your friend like Jesus. Amen. Start making him your friend and you'll find things start changing for you. The things that you went through, you see things happen for you like never before. Amen. He says, I didn't tell you this earlier. Uh, uh, let's go to John 14, chapter, verse 16. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, I didn't tell you. I'm reading from the message Bible. Do you understand? I didn't tell you this earlier because I was with you every day. But I, now I'm on my way to the one who sent me. Not one of you asks, where are you going? Instead, the, the longer I talk, the sadder you become. And that's it. The more Jesus talks, the sadder people come because they, they don't want they want Jesus there with them. But you got to do something about it by trusting him. Amen. Amen. So let Amen. me say it again. This is true. It is better for you that I leave. If I don't leave, the friend won't come. But if I go, I send him to you. And that friend is the Holy Spirit. That's why I say the Holy Spirit is my Amen. friend. Amen. 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 She said, when he comes, he will expose the error of the godless. 
worldview of sin. That's what he's doing right now. Righteousness and judgment. Amen. He will show them that they're refusing to believe in me, me and their basic sin. That righteousness comes from above and where I am with the Father out of their sight and control. That judgment takes place as the rule of godless world is brought to trial and conviction. Do you not know this is prophetic word going on right now? Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit is showing you what's going on. But you, you people not listen. You, I don't know where y'all in or not all land. My Lord. Amen. He says, I still have many things to tell you, but you can't handle them now. But when the friend comes, the spirit of truth, he will take you by the hand and guide you. Look what it says. He will take you by the hand and guide you. Who is guiding you and leading you? Amen. You can't walk in the spirit unless you have the Holy Spirit. Amen. I have talked to people say, I have, are you speaking to us? No, I never asked. <laughs> Why? I, it's not giving all. That's a lie. He said, freely you receive, freely you believe, freely you receive. Amen. He said, repent now and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You didn't get it because you didn't want to ask for it. Amen. <laughs> then some people say, well, the day of Pentecost, they was all speaking in uh, tongues, and the people, no, they didn't understand them. They didn't understand them. They said they were speaking our language, but they didn't understand it. So that's the trick of the devil, trying to make it like he understands the Spirit of God. He don't understand. So he tries to speak in tongues himself and say that he understands. He don't understand. Amen. Amen. Only you will understand it because he lives in you. Oh, I hope people understand. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So, but the, when the friend comes, the spirit of truth, he, he will take you by the hand and guide you to all the truth there is. He won't draw attention to himself. Look what he says. He won't draw attention to himself. But he will make sense of what is about to happen. And indeed, out of all that I have done, said he will honor me. He will take me from me and deliver it, it, it to you. Everything the Father is also mine. That is why I say he takes you from me and delivers to you. In a day, so you are not going to see me. But in another day, you so you will see me. That's what he was saying. He's doing the same thing, preparing of his coming back. Amen. Amen. That's why we got the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Are you? He's making preparation for you to be changed. Amen. Amen. That you embrace the change. Amen. A change can come until you allow the change by the Holy Spirit Amen. to become more Christ-like. Amen. Amen. So when you're going through right now, don't fight it. It's God's making you better. Amen. You become Amen. like Jesus. Amen. Now, you ain't Jesus, but you become <laughs> like him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But you got to allow the Holy Spirit to do it. Amen. So take time and allow your best friend to guide you and direct you. And I guarantee if you do, everything will start falling in place. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the Holy Spirit. Good morning, Holy Spirit. You're talking to Jesus. Amen. What you to do? And he will guide you. I, I can misplace some keys and he go right there to the keys. Amen. I am looking, I say, I'm not going to worry about it. It's somewhere in the house. Amen. I am telling you my mama. I say, I don't put it down. The Holy Spirit going to guide me. It's right there. Amen. 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 I uh, misguided the uh, aspirin. He said, you left the aspirin there at the, with, the, with, the, with the doctor. That he mistook it. Amen. You know, he took the pill. Accidentally. And he'll tell you. You know, and, and, and so you don't lose nothing. When the time when something go wrong, and somebody said, somebody broke in my house. We were talking about this this morning, me and the Holy Spirit. And he showed me. I said, it's your boyfriend. He showed me his hand, stole your money. My Lord. And she found it was her boyfriend. In other words, he tells you. Amen. Amen. You ain't got to go to no prophet and pay no money. Amen. The Holy Spirit lives in you. He wants to talk to you. He loves to talk. Amen. Sometimes, Amen. you know, I say, okay. He said, now go to sleep now. All right. It'll be so good. You don't want to go to sleep. Amen. Amen. He wants a conversation as well. You be on the phone talking about everybody else. Amen. On the gospel hotline. Amen. You don't need to be on the gospel hotline. You need to be on the gospel hotline with the word of God, with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because he's going to guide you right where you want to hear no negative stuff. Amen. And you won't worry about it. He's trying to take a bone by somebody. My Lord. They, they take a bone by somebody. They're going to take a bone by you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. My Lord. His conversation is not going to afflict you and it ain't going to go no further than someone else. Amen. Know about it. Hallelujah. He's a confident friend. You yes. Can trust him. Hallelujah. Yes. He's a friend and it's closer than any friend. Hallelujah. Amen. He'd be right there. You can sit there and talk with him and have a conversation. Go on a picnic now and listen to a girl. Go on a picnic with the Holy Spirit. That you out there talking to him. That woman on lost her mind. To. I never forget I was going to the store and I had the Bluetooth in my ear and I was talking in my ear because a lot of time I do talk to the Holy Spirit in there and she said and, and the lady the, the manager said who is she talking to <laughs> she came with this ma'am you alright I said I'm better than you and said by the way I'm not talking to myself Amen. Amen. I thought you guys know I'm I'm on the phone, but if I'm talking, I'll be talking to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And another one walking around talking to who the demons. Amen. Talking to them. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you have a greater conversation. Amen. And he he's a help. 
Amen. A helper. Mm -hmm. Amen. A comforter. When you need somebody to comfort you when you're down and out. You know, you get mad. And we all do. The Bible says be angry, sin not. Amen. He to comfort you. Yeah. He'll send somebody to comfort. He ain't going to send anybody. But will say the right words that you need. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. So you yeah. you do what I tell you to do by the Holy Spirit. And put it first. Everything going to start falling in place. It may not fall the way you want to. But he, <coughs> he's an on time God. Amen. Amen. I hope you've been blessed. Amen. I could go on and on by the Holy Spirit, but I got to cut the time. Amen. Take time and, and talk with the Holy Spirit. He's He's a conversation. He loves to talk. Amen. Amen. He'll talk about some things that you didn't think you should talk about, but you can get healed and deliver. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He knows what you need. Amen. Better than anyone. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. <coughs> so hope you've been blessed today. Let me see what God say. Because the best is yet to come for you. Depend on the Holy Spirit. Let him lead you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And when you let him lead you, you become more holy. In other words, you're going to start setting yourself apart from all the world. Amen. Amen. You don't have a desire Amen. to be around the worldly stuff and do that. You will have a desire to, to want more of Jesus and less of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So be encouraged. And allow the Holy Spirit to be your friend. And you can't go wrong. Hallelujah. Father God, I thank you for this beautiful word that you have me to give to the people. I hope they take heed and run with it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I pray for them. Hallelujah. Receive it. I pray for those right now that don't know Jesus. I pray they repeat after me and say, Lord God, I'm a sinner. I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I renounce my old ways. Holy Spirit, come in my life and, 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 and make me whole. Amen. That I will serve Jesus. Amen. The rest of my life in Jesus' name. And if you receive that, you are, well, it's simple. You ain't got to go to all the whole big old uh, uh, dialogue and to go all this here. It's simple. Amen. And serve Jesus Christ. Welcome into the family. And let's make it better than that. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, that you walk more in the power and the spirit. This is the missing green a lot of people. Say, Holy Spirit, indwell in me. I want to be filled with the spirit. The Bible said, I said, out of stem of lips, amen, and at your belly shall flow rivers of water. I said, didn't they know that what he was talking about? He was talking about the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. And that's God to fill you. And if you feel with the Holy Spirit right now, do what you want 20. Amen. Pray in the spirit to build up your innermost in you, him, the faith in him. Hallelujah. Amen. And you will grow even better. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let him guide you and lead you. Because the children of God are the ones that are led by the Spirit and not by people and flesh. And not by what they see, not what they hear, but only hear the word of God. Amen. Amen. Remember Jesus, Lord. And if you want to be a blessing to us, you're welcome to be a blessing. Prophet is not we put all the infinite information up. If you want to talk, uh, Prophet is Tina, my assistant. Well, uh, she put the name up and, you know, she'll let you know. Amen. But I want to tell you, be encouraged, be blessed. And if you allow the Holy Spirit, plans work out, even the things that you ask in your heart, it will come to pass. Amen. Amen. And God gonna blow you by. Tina say, "Wow, God!" And and uh, uh, Pastor, I'll leave my friend. Uh, Omg! And I say, "Thank you, Jesus." Hallelujah. Amen. God blowing my mind. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Amen. So we just praise God and give Him glory and thank Him. Hallelujah for moving in Jesus' name. Love you, the Lord. Those are loving kisses. Bye bye.